Alright, this is the first of several videos where we will be going over HTML code. Um, HTML code is pretty much everything that you see on the internet is being displayed in HTML code uh, for the most part. You know, 90-95% of the internet is, is going to be displayed in HTML code. Um, I'm going to do a, several videos on just HTML code, uh, going through just some basics and then getting into some more advanced stuff that you can do, as well as some programs and stuff like that. And then we'll move into some CSS, JavaScript, maybe even some PHP programming as well. So let's get started. Uh, first, HTML code stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So keep note of that if you ever have like a trivia uh, questions or something like that. Content is created by HTML tags. And HTML tags is basically a command inside two angle brackets which is the uh, uh, symbol when you hold down shift on your keyboard above the comma and the period. In case you ever wondered what those were called and what they're there for, that's one of the things that they're there for. So, uh, to, for this tutorial, we're just gonna start with the basics and we're just going to use Notepad. So if you click on Start on a Windows computer and type in Notepad and then click on Notepad, you'll get a blank document. So starting absolutely from scratch. Here we go. The first thing that you'll need to define is the doc type. And this is what tells the browser um, what type, what version of HTML code that you are using. So we do a start angle bracket, which, you know, every all the commands are going to be enclosed in a starting and ending angle bracket. Make sure you get them pointing the right way. They always are pointing out from each other. And then exclamation point D-O-C-T-Y-P-E for doc type space. And then in HTML5, which is the current version of HTML, they've ex made this process extremely simple. All you type is HTML and angle bracket. <laughs> Before this, you had to type and declare certain uh, versions and, and certain files and what standards you were holding to. And, and you may have to do that for some um, HTML code to work as you get into some more advanced stuff. Sometimes you have to declare, um, you know, but let's not worry about that now. That's that's your basics to start out with. Hit enter. And now we want to start and tell the browser, hey, we're starting our HTML code. So start angle bracket, HTML, end angle bracket. Now, if we left it like this and we started coding, it would probably work on most browsers. However, the proper way to do all HTML tags, at least most of them, and we'll get to more of this later, but is um, to make sure you close the tags out with an, another tag that's forward slash the same command. So you have one HTML tag that starts it and another one with a forward slash before the text that ends it. Two other elements that we need to add in here before we start any content is the HTML tag head. And then we want to end it, just like we do with all the other tags. And then we want another tag called body. So angle bracket, body, and angle bracket. And same thing, you want to close it out. Now the head section is where all the, um, any like, uh, configurations, JavaScript, um, anything that's before the content should start showing on the screen, that goes there. So anything that needs to load in the background, per se, before the content starts to load. So right now we won't use that top head section, um, but we will start typing some code into the body section here. So the first thing we'd want to do for our page is probably give it a heading, a nice, bold, uh, large heading at the top. And so we'll use a heading tag, and there's actually several of them uh, for different sizes. So for this, we're going to go ahead and type H1, which is heading 1. End it out. Don't forget to close out the tag. And then in between these two tags, so right here, and then space in between the two tags, anything that we type in there will have the heading 1 characteristic applied to it. So we'll type this is my test heading. And then we'll hit enter, go down a line. And now let's put a paragraph 
below that heading. So paragraph is simply bracket P bracket and then this is some text that nobody cares about and then make sure you close it out. So there's a heading, there's a paragraph. So now if you wanted to preview this and see what it would actually look like, you go up to file, click save as, and then we want to go ahead and save it. Uh, your home page of the website will always be called index. So since we'll just go ahead and say this is going to be our home page, we're going to call it index.html. So the index part of the file name means it's the home page. It's going to be the first page that loads for the website. And then we're saying .html because normally Notepad is going to save as a text file. We want to actually save it as HTML. So you're going to do .html and you're going to change where it says save as type to all files. That way it goes ahead and applies the .html um, as the file type. Click Save. So now we'll see the shortcut appear here on our desktop and notice the Internet Explorer icon because it's actually been saved as an HTML file. So if we double click on that, we now get our sample web page. So you can see where we had the heading. It's now bolded and set apart in the heading and then the paragraph, the first paragraph there. So that is the absolute basics <laughs> of HTML code. Um, so we're going to keep going and building out this site to do um, um, some more things.